Inside of Roblox Block Fruits, there are currently 12 different fruits you can awaken aside from normally mastering fruits. And well, it turns out that I have actually awakened all of those fruits now. So today, I actually went ahead and compiled all of those videos into a fruit awakening marathon because uh, I'm running low on ideas. So make sure to sit back, relax, grab a drink and snack, and enjoy the fruit awakening marathon. Next video, can you awaken doe fruit? Demon, why don't you use the Day 69420 of asking Demon, to awaken doe fruit. Please give me doe fruit. You got to do doe fruit. And then, man, this dude just went on a tirade about quake fruit. This guy needs to chill with the jokes. Stop clickbaiting and be honest. Quake isn't off. Dun, dun, dun. So a lot of you have been constantly asking for me to awaken the doe fruit. And today is the day I'm finally gonna do it. So please make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and also make sure you stick around for next video when I fully awaken the spiky trident. So you see this a beautiful and majestic little doughy boy right here. This is the doe fruit. And this is very rare to get your hands on. Oh, look at it. It's moving. The white stuff is all sticky and moving. Ew. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually not eat it. I'm, this is actually very rare to get. I'm not doing that. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna do the high IQ move here. So I'm gonna go on over to our little block fruit dealer. Scroll all the way down here. And you see our little doughy rocket missile right here. Go ahead and view. Buy with Robux. And you know, if you guys want to have a chance to get your hands on a permanent fruit, go ahead and comment down below. And also, you know, comment down below what other videos you want to see me do. But now it's time to say goodbye to my Robux for permanent dough fruit. Block fruit dough activated. Woohoo, now I can dough on people. I can get my white sticky stuff stuff all over them. What do you think, Goose Man? You want some white sticky stuff? Okay, but now I need to go ahead, refund my stats, and then max out melee, defense, and box fruits. And now it's time for me to get a bunch of mastery to unlock all of these beautiful moves right here. And oh my god, I am going to need a lot. So I went ahead and spawned in the beautiful pirate lady over there. And you know, now I need to go ahead. I have my first move for one mastery called fried dough. And then go ahead, send my fried dough. I have like a weird little rocket missile in my hand. Let me dough on you. Okay, so my dough exploded. Okay, interesting. But it did so much damage our first move already does 3,000 damage and it's not even awakened yet no way oh my god go ahead and mix in a little bit of god human on her hit her with the front door again oh my god we were actually doing so much damage to her already she's getting melted okay hit her with the front door again get out of here boxer up super suck my goopy white stuff is very dangerous <laughs> Okay, and then boom, we just obliterated her like it's nothing. I got the can vander again. What? How'd I get that twice? But look at all the delicious mastery loading in. Oh my god, we got so many. We got 130, which means we have two new moves unlocked called sticky dough and a roller donut. Oh, so our dough is sticky. <laughs> But as always, I need to find out what these moves do. So we have our first move for 50 mastery called Roller Donut. Go ahead. Okay, it's our mobility move. We turn into a little mobile donut. No way. Look at us go. Dude, we're so speedy like this. Let's go. And then we have our other move called Sticky Dough for 100 mastery. So go ahead. Hey, dude, have some of my Sticky Dough. Okay, it just slammed them. I don't like how that one looked, to be honest. That was kind of weird. Uh, uh. But now I'm going to need loads more mastery in order to get these two final moves. So come here, big mama. Let me touch you with my Sticky White Tentacle. And then let me goop on you too. Ah. Hey, what's wrong, big mommy? You don't like my White Sticky stuff? I thought you were okay with getting covered in the white sticky stuff. What's wrong? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, guys, I totally don't need the help with all these moves I already have unlocked. Totally. Totally. Oh, never mind. Both the furries are here, and they're both in Ultra Furry mode. Ultra Furry 1 and Ultra Furry 2. Oh, my God. We are straight clapping Big Mama's cheeks now, too. No way. Go ahead. Don't want her again. And, oh, my God. Even more juicy mastery. And now our dough fruit is finally to 305 mastery, which means we finally unlocked our last two moves called the Carve the Dough and a restless dough barrage. So, you know, I need to see what these moves do. Go ahead, try out the carved dough. Okay, we're in our little donut form again. Go ahead. Oh, I can ram into things and slam them. And then we have our final move for 300 mastery called restless dough barrage. So go ahead. Dough barrage! 
good. Bro, I can literally infinite punch them just like JoJo. That's OP. And so far, I think all these dope moves we have unlocked are pretty overpowered. It's time to go ahead and awaken this bad boy and get these moves even stronger. And also, I didn't need to include this part, but you know, just to flex, you know, go ahead to the advanced types. And I actually have dough unlocked to buy raids for. Boom, in your face. Man, shut your Free. Okay, and boom, we are on to the first island of the first raid for our first awakening. You know, go ahead, slam this dude with my sticky dough. Okay, oh my god, these dudes are getting just straight obliterated. No way. Get out of here, dude. Order, order. I think I like this carved dough move, though. I can literally just slam into them with, like, a little spiky ball. Oh, and we already beat the first island. Okay. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course! And then we just got a title unlocked called Bread Chaser. Oh, you already know x is getting that bread. Cha-ching, cha-ching! Okay, but our old Z move was fried dough, but now we have a missile jab. We'll go ahead, load this dude up. Oh, we have a big, white, gooey, dripping hand. Okay, oh, that looks so wrong. But, you know, go ahead. Missile jab! Bro, that did more damage than it did before. Okay, that's super OP. That is so OP. All right, and now we're on to the second island for our second awakening. It's time to put our gooey fist missiles to the test. Oh, my God, I just obliterated him. Okay, wow. And fun fact about the dough fruit, it actually has six awakenings. So, we're gonna get one extra move on top of all these other five moves that we get to awaken. Hey, buddy, you want some of my sticky white stuff? Have it! It explodes, too! And then go ahead, hit it with the JoJo punches! Oh, my God, we easily just beat the second island, too. No way! And now we can get our hands on our second awakening! Greetings, mortal! What do you see? How about now? Can I get a girlfriend this time? Maybe? Okay, yeah, fine, whatever. Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Of course! Okay, and then our old F ability was our little mobility donut thing. But now we have a scorching donut. So let me find out our donut looks even cooler. Go ahead. Oh, we're a spiky donut now! Okay, and we're just projectiling white goopy stuff out from behind us as we go. But oh, we're a big white sticky spiky ball of gooiness. It's delicious. Come and take a bite. Bruh. We're almost halfway done with awakening all our moves. And I didn't realize this until now, but our spiky donut can literally go on any surface. And it also does damage. Even though it's a very low amount of damage. Only like a thousand damage. And oh my god, we already sped through the third island like it was nothing too. Man, look at all my big strong Buddha men go. They're just thrashing and smashing. Yeah, we love smashing. Ooh, awakening three time. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course! And then our old X ability was our sticky dough move, but now we have a pastry river. Oh, let me find out. I turned my white sticky stuff into pastries. Oh, that's the best delicacy. Go ahead, load up this move. Oh, our hand is covered in the white sticky stuff. And then go ahead, hit him up. Oh, it's slamming him around. It slammed him down. But now we're on to the fourth island to start the beginning of getting our last three awakened moves. And I also just realized our pastry river move actually does two different things. I can use it once and it slams him around like that. You know, it covers them in all of our white sticky stuff. As you can see, it's all over the ground. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. I'm about to smash you harder than I smashed your mom. Boom, we beat the fourth island. Okay, time to get that fourth awakening. What am I gonna get? Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course. And then our old C ability was carved dough, but now we have a piercing clothesline. What? How does that even relate to dough at all? You know, I need to see what this does regardless. Load it up. Oh, oh, I'm slamming him. What? Whoa. Bro, that was OP. It put me in my little spiky donut form. And then I slammed him harder than I slammed your mom. And now on to the final island to get one of the two remaining awakenings we have. So, you know, go over here and slam into him. Swing him around. Slam him down. Bro, dough fruit is so OP. I love all these moves. I love how overpowered my white sticky stuff is. Let's go. And then we got boss man over here. Hit him with the JoJo punches. And then go ahead. Slam him around again. Bro, this C move is so OP and it looks so cool. And then send down my sticky missile oh we're ascending we defeated the boss okay fifth awakening time greetings mortal what do you seek can we touch base back on that girlfriend uh, idea maybe please 
Okay, yeah, fine. Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your tap ability? Oh, we get a tap ability. Of course! Okay, we have a tap ability now. Oh, bro, look at this. We can literally send dope punches at him. That is OP, and it does 2,000 damage per hit. Bro, I'm about to tap on this dude harder than I tapped your mom. Oh, that's cool, too. I can just have my little dough holes follow me around. Ooh, the power of white sticky dough. Hee <laughs> hee. And then once again, I am back to the final island so we can kill this final boss one more time to get our final awakening. So go ahead, slam them all around, slam them down. Oh my god, we just obliterated every single person in there. And then go ahead and hit them with the Jojo punches. Ora, 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 ora. Oh my god, all the henchmen are basically dead too. It's really just the boss. No way. And then go ahead, slam boss man around once again. And we're ascending for the final time. It's time to get our final awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course! And then finally, our old V ability was our Restless Doe Barrage. But now we have a Doe Fist Fossilade. What? How do you... What? Fossilade, huh? But, you know, go ahead. See what it does! Oh, we have Mega Jojo Punches now! Bro, it's like we have literal Star Platinum in the way! And you know what? I think this Doe Fruit is super OP now. So, with that being said, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video where I awaken the spiky trident. Over the past 21 videos, I basically sold my soul to be able to finally do this. Day in, day out, I grinded. Hour after hour, two to four hours a day. Grinding mission after mission and killing boss after boss. And after mastering fighting style, after fighting style, after fighting style. I finally unlocked the god human fighting style. I killed the final boss and unlocked access to these portals. And now it's finally time. And now you see this bad boy right here look at it Sheesh. i can finally start doing fruit awakenings and the first fruit i'm doing is the flame fruit so goodbye human buddha hello flame fruit nom 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 and as some of you may know from our previous videos the flame fruit is actually the first fruit we've ever had you know besides buddha that we use for grinding and you know the flame fruit is actually the first fruit that I actually wanted to fully master and awaken. Because, you know, we're demons, so we gotta have that fiery demonic drip. But in order for us to even fully master this and awaken it, we need to start unlocking some moves. But first, before we do that, we can actually finally go ahead. If you guys remember, I actually was holding on to these stat points while we finished our grinding. I have almost 2,550. So, you know, I'ma go ahead, put these in block fruits finally. And now it's time to start getting some moves unlocked. Okay, so go ahead, damage that dude up. What does our first move even do? We got fire bullets, so go ahead, shoot that at the tree. Okay, I actually really like that. So, you know, go ahead, set this dude on fire. Okay, come here, buddy. Take some fire balls to the face. Oh my god, look at all the mastery pouring in. Let's go. We already got 57 mastery. Luckily, we don't really need that much mastery to get all the moves on this fruit. So now we have burning blast, fire column, and fire flight unlocked. Okay, wait, what does burning blast do? Hey, buddy, don't mind if I just go ahead, hit you with a burning blast. Oh my my god and then hit him with some fire bullets right after that okay almost got him to half health with that let's go let's go go ahead him with another burning blast fire bullets okay and then we also have fire calm go ahead hit him with fire calm just incinerated him look at all that mastery we got again turn on the heightened senses fire column hey dude come here let me hit you with a six realm gun die and then more fireballs to the face burning blast okay Okay, and then boom, we now have 101 mastery, which means we now have a move called Flame Destroyer. Okay, what does that do? Oh my god, we have a giant fireball. We have a literal giant fire. Okay, wait. Then go ahead, throw it at him. Oh my god. And then go ahead, fire bullets. Burning blast. Fire calm. You're literally dead, buddy. Bye. And then, you know, I just went ahead and took some time to get a little bit more mastery on my flame fruit and a little bit more mastery on my god human. And now it's time to go ahead and fully awaken our flame fruit. So, you know, I went ahead and got some of the homie G's right here. And that's exactly what we're about to do. Okay, first island, first awakening. Let's do this. Oh my god, he has magma fruit. Yeah. Okay, bring it on, buddy. Die. I gotta use my fire abilities in this raid because I can only really awaken my fruit if 
I use the fruit that I'm doing in the raid. All right, burning blast them up. Oh my God. I'm actually doing pretty well against them with such low mastery though. You want some God human to it? How about I give you a little bit of heaven and earth? Oh my God. He's spike balling me up. Okay, boom. We completed the first island. Okay, first island beat. First awakening time. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course. All right, ability awakened. So first we had was fireballs, but now we have blue fire bullets. Okay, hold on. Let me let me test this on this dude over here. Okay, ooh. Okay, blue fire. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the other fireballs are cooler. Okay, hold on. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Blue fireball bullets. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I think I might like the, the first version, honestly. All right, island two, awakening two time. Time to put these blue fiery balls to action. Oh, and I'm already getting spike balled. Okay. Burning blast. I can also use this now. Flame destroyer. Okay, but blue fireballs to the face. Oh, ho. you know, even though they don't look as cool as the normal fireballs, they sure do a lot of damage. Like, look at this. Boom. 3,000 damage right there. Fire call them up. Burning blast. Hit him with the blue fiery balls again. Flame destroyer. Okay, boom. We just beat island two like that easily too. Okay, we beat the second island. Time to get our second awakening. Great mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Of course. Okay, so our F ability is our flight. So it went from like fire, flame flight to rocket flight. Okay, let's see what this is. Go ahead, give a little jump into the air and then, oh, you know, a clean little transition into the fire flight, you know? And I feel like we're actually moving a little bit faster. We got like sonic waves around us. Okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, we are now on to island three. So, you know, we might as well use our new and improved flying abilities to get over there. I also realized if I hold down my blue fireballs and then shoot it all at once, it goes even stronger. I'm literally so glad I choose fire. It's so OP. I can also mix in some god human with my fire moves. So, you know, it, it goes hard. Dude right here. Suck him up. Boom. Hit him with a fire column. Burning blast. Have some blue balls. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Die. Ooh, burning glass, that guy. Boom. All right, we just beat Island 3. That means we can go ahead onto our third awakening. I actually really wonder what we're going to get this time. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course. Okay, so our X ability was burning blast, but now we have prominence burst. Let's go ahead and try this out on this little ugly, dummy, Willy Wonka looking boy over here. Go ahead, hold it down. Oh, we got like a little bit of a fiery fist. Oh, Oh my god look at that oh my god oh he's burning okay wait let me go ahead hit him with a fire column hit him with some blue fire bullets prominence burst oh my god it literally does burn damage that's actually so cool all right island four time our second to last island and our second to last to move to awaken all right let's try out this prominence burst oh dude i literally love that i love it so much it's so cool hit him with a fire column send in some big fiery Balls! Let me shoot some prominence of burst over at this buddy boy right here. Boom! It literally looks like I'm just firing like the essence of hell out of my hand. This is truly the demonic fruit right here. All right, fire column. Prominence burst it up. Oh my God, I obliterated him. Blue fiery balls. Flame destroyer. Oh my God, this prominence burst ability is just so freaking OP. I literally love it. I think I'm in love with this flame fruit, guys. I think X demon X flame fruit should become a real true thing. And then boom, with another prominence burst right there, we beat the fourth island. And now we can go ahead and awaken our fourth move now. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course. All right, so our C ability was our fire column, but now we have flaming vortex. Hey, yo. Okay, once again, time to try it out on one of these ugly little Willy Wonka boys right here. Go ahead. Flame vortex. Oh my God. Did I just summon a fire tornado? And it does burning damage too. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me do this real quick. Go ahead, hit him with a prominence burst and then follow that up with a flaming vortex. Die. All right. And now finally onto our final island for our final awakening against the final boss. And you know, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This fruit is so freaking OP. Okay. And boss is spawning in three, two, one. There he is. Hit him, boys. Go ahead. Send
send down the big balls. Fireballs. Flaming vortex. This fruit is so good, especially with God Human. This honestly might be my new favorite fruit with how overpowered it is. Oh my god, I actually think he's almost dead too. No way. Flame vortex. Okay, and then now that I'm in the air from flame vortex, send down a flame destroyer. Prominence burst. He's literally almost dead. God Human time. Die. Okay, boom. Boss is dead. Now all we have to really worry about is this little henchman over here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Your boss is dead. Your boss is dead, dude. Oh, no. You know what? I'm gonna just let that dude deal with it because if I walk on that lava, I take damage and I don't really want to risk it. And boom! Our final ascension! We're back to the temple of the gods. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Our final ascension, of course. Do you wish to awaken your V ability for 5,000 frags? Okay, ooh, that's a lot of frags, but yes, of course! Alright, so our last V ability was Flaming Vortex, but now we have Hell's Core. Okay, you know what? Go ahead, use Flaming Vortex to get up in the sky and then hold down our V. Oh my god, that's like 10 times more massive than the Flaming Vortex. Slam it down, die! It set the whole area on fire, yo! Okay, and then you know, in a little quirky way to wrap up the video and test out all of our new moves all at once, I went ahead and got me a little Elite Quest boy over here! Come here, buddy! Time to die! Say goodnight! Okay, and then go ahead and hit him with some god human right after that. Oh my god, he's getting folded. This dude is getting folded. Prominence burst. Flame vortex up in the air. Hit him with some blue fireballs. Soaring beast him up again. Oh my god, I literally knocked him so far. Okay, flame vortex. Hell's core straight down on him. Prominence burst. Blue fireballs. Boom, we killed him. And we got some more mastery on our flame fruit too. I will take that. But with that being said, we have now fully mastered and awakened our flame through so make sure to smash that like button hit subscribe and you know comment down below what fruit i should go for next maybe i should continue the fire series and do magma i don't know let me know down below all right, so last episode, I went ahead and started the first of my fruit awakenings, and I awakened the extremely overpowered flame fruit. Hit him with some fire bullets right after that. Go okay. ahead him with another burning blast. Fire bullets. Okay, and then we also have fire calm. Go ahead, hit him with fire calm. Use flaming vortex to get up in the sky, and then hold down our V. Oh my god, that's like 10 times more massive than the flaming vortex. So today, I thought I'd actually go ahead and continue the fire series, and move on to full mastering and awakening the magma fruit so it's time to say hello to this bad boy right here and it's time to go ahead and scarf this bad boy down all right, boom, we now have our magma fruit unlocked. As you can see, I actually have no mastery on it, but I have a move called magma clap. Oh, just like how I can magma clap your mom. But you know, since I don't really have that much mastery, I gotta go ahead and get some. I gotta start leveling up this bad boy and seeing what all these moves do. Because I don't think I've actually ever used this before, to be honest. Okay, let me go over to this dude right here. Let me damage him up with my god human. And then hit him with the... Oh, wait. He can't even hit me. Look at that. Just like our flame fruit, we're untouchable. Dude, I'm really made of magma. I'm purely demonic right now. Go ahead, hit him up. And then magma clap. And ooh, look at all that mastery loaded in for us. Oh my god, we're getting so many. Okay. We're at 60 mastery already, which means not only do we have magma clap now, but we have magma floor and magma eruption. Okay, wait, I want to see what this magma floor does. Is it like our flame flight where we were able to fly with flame fruit? Okay, no, we're just a puddle of lava on the floor. I mean, hey, at least we're doing some damage, you know, we're damaging them up. This is really goofy. Okay, but he just died from my magma floor. Okay, got some more mastery too. I have mixed feelings about that one. I don't know. Hold on, damage this dude up right here too. And then go ahead. I think I have to like, I can aim it wherever. So go ahead. Magma eruption. Oh my God. We just had lava pour from the ground. That's so cool. And then boom, we got our second to last move unlocked, which is magma fist. So of course, go ahead. Damage this dude up right here. Come here, buddy. Die. And then hit him with the magma fist. Oh my god, it's burning him. It literally burns. Okay, clap him to death. And then once again, go ahead, hit him with the magma fist. Get out of here, buddy. And then boom, I went ahead and got a little bit more mastery so I can get our final move unlocked, which is magma meteors. So once again, go ahead, damage this dude up a little bit. And then go ahead, hit him with some magma meteors. Oh my god, that's actually so cool. Okay, hold up, do it again. Magma meteors. 
Oh my god, that's so cool. Literally, all of these mag moves are literally so cool, dude. And you know, I'm really excited to see what these look like the Awakened. And if you guys are too, real quick, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And you know, also comment down below what I should do next video, you know. Ahaha. Okay, but now it's time to go ahead and awaken this magma fruit. As you can see, I went ahead and got a good amount more mastery on it. So, you know, we can do some decent damage. And I've also got the homies over here once again to help me out with the raid. Which, by the way, if you want a chance to help me out with some future raids, go ahead and join my Discord at discord.gg slash xdemon. Okay, but anyways, on to the first island for our very first awakening. Come here, buddy. Let me clap you. Say goodbye. Oh my god, one of the guys is using Phoenix Fruit. Yo, that's so cool. Should I continue the fire series with Phoenix Fruit next? I don't know. Let me know down below. But go ahead and start beating these boys up with our magma. Hit them up. Come here, buddy. Die. Magma clap. Boom, clap him to death. See you later. And then boom, we just beat the first island. All right, and since we beat the first island, we can now go ahead and get our first awakening. And I'm not even gonna lie, guys. These moves, like these starter moves right here, you know, uh, kind of underwhelming. They're still good. But, you know, hopefully these awakenings give us something way better. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course. All right, so our Z ability was our magma clap. But now we have magma shower. Hey, Willy Wonka. You remember me from... From the flame video don't mind if i just magma shower i can now shoot magma bullets from my hands oh my god that's so cool okay wait let me get some aerial height and then magma shower oh my god that's so cool oh my god wait what i can walk across water now too that's actually so cool oh my god guys do you see how cool this is yo i might be falling in love with the magma food just a tiny bit all right island two time Time to get our second awakening and put this magma shower ability to the test. Hopefully our next awakening move is super cool too. I'm very excited. I am very excited. I literally just obliterated that guy. All right, and then send some magma meteors up there. Magma eruption right here. Magma shower. Oh my God, the Phoenix dude's going hard too. We just beat Island 2. And since we beat Island 2, we can go ahead and get our seconding awakening now already. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Ability? Of course! Okay, so our F ability was our magma floor, but now we have beast ride. Okay, wait. We don't tell me we can turn into a magma beast. Oh my god, we turned into a magma beast! Oh, we didn't turn into one. We're riding one. It's like a little dinosaur. Look at that. Look at that little head. Aw. Island 3 awakening 3 time! And I'm not even gonna cap to you guys. This beast ride ability is so good. It literally gets me so much damage. Okay, I know I said that the moves are kind of underwhelming when they weren't awakened but uh so far i am very impressed by these two awakened moves i'm literally doing so much damage now and there's burn damage with all these moves it's so good all right hit them up magma meteors magma shower literally almost 30k damage right there guys oh my god this fruit might be really good for pvp i'm not even gonna cap this fruit's really good oh and then boom we just easily beat island three okay awakening three time now greetings mortal what do you seek ascension do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course. Okay, and our old X ability was magma eruption, but now we have volcanic assault. Ooh. All right, let me go ahead. As always, we got dummy little Willy Wonky over here. Hold it down. Ooh, okay. So we got like a nice little pose going on right here. And then volcanic assault. Oh my God. Whoa. I just full on literally assaulted that man. Oh my God. All right, on to the second the last island for our second the last awakening and i'm gonna lie i really like this volcanic assault move it's so good magma shower i think with each awakening we keep getting on this fruit it just keeps getting better and better i'm not even gonna lie it's so freaking good oh my god this magma fruit is like literally the definition of overpowered this is what overpowered looks like ladies and gents hit it with some more magma showers oh my god how's he still alive magma fist magma assault get out out of here die this is literally too easy with this fruit this is really too easy we're just easily getting through all these islands no way okay boom then we just beat island four okay it's time for our fourth awakening i hope it's as cool as the last one greetings mortal what do you seek ascension do you wish to awaken your sea ability of course okay so our old sea ability was magma fist but now we have a great magma hound what what is that okay do 
Ooh, is this a skill I hold down? Okay, no. Ooh, but we got some we got some magma loading up there in our hand. Go ahead, hit him. Great magma hold! Okay, so it's basically like magma fist, but better. And now we're finally onto the final island to get our final awakening. All right, and boss spawning in three, two, one. There he is! Magma shower him! Magma hound him! Okay, I just need that Buddha to knock him into the water. Come on, Buddha boy, knock him in. Yes! And then he'll respawn there so I can volcanically assault him. Easy! Oh, I'm sending in the beast! Sending in the beast! Okay, yeah, I take back what I said at the beginning of the video. Magma fruit is so OP. Oh my god! Okay, and the boss is literally already almost dead. No way. Magma shower him up. Magma shower him up. Get him out of here. Magma hound him. Magma meteor him. Okay, boss is dead. And now all we need to worry about are these annoying little henchmen around the map. Die, buddy! Sending in the beast for the third time! Die! Oh my god, these moves are so cool! Oh my god! I'm literally at a loss for words at how cool all this is, but boom! We're ascending for the fifth and final time! Which means we can now go ahead and get our fifth and final awakening. Greetings, mortal! What do you seek? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course! Okay, so our old V ability was magma meteors, but now we have volcanic storm. Is this another one that I hold down? Do I just go up into the air up here and then hold it down? Oh my god, we have a giant magma fist. Okay, go ahead. Send it at him. Die! Look at all that burn damage. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, magma fruit really OP. I also have this dude. He's half health. He's literally half health. Time to die! Okay, I want to hit him with another one of these. Go ahead. Volcanic storm! Oh my god! Yeah, it obliterated him. We got some nice little mastery from that. Oh my god, and this dude pulled a phoenix fruit. Oh, he gave me the phoenix fruit! Oh! And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on. So if you guys want to get your hands on one of these phoenix fruits, go ahead and comment down below. And then, you know, just like our flame fruit video, I went ahead and got ourselves a little elite pirate quest. But anyways, I found this man, and it's time to kill him and use all our new moves against him. So go ahead and hit him with the beast right off the bat. Boom! And then hit him with some volcanic assault. And then, you know, follow it up with some god human. Oh, you want some even more god human, buddy? Come on, take it. Okay, boom, he's all the way over there. Let me go ahead and stick him over there. And then hit him with a magma shower. Okay, he's already half health. How about some volcanic storm? Die! Oh my god, we're literally doing so much damage to him. We just obliterated him. But as you guys can clearly tell, magma fruit is super OP. So with that being said, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Okay, ooh, I got frozen. I got frozen. Oh! Oh! And you know, comment down below what I should become next. All right, so we've already awakened the flame fruit. Go ahead, hit him with a prominent burst, and then follow that up with a flaming vortex. And then hold down our V. Oh my god, that's like 10 times more massive than the flaming vortex. Slam it down. And we've already awakened the magma fruit. Hit him with some more magma showers. Magma fist. Magma assault. Oh my god, we have a giant magma fist. Send it at him. Die. And well, now today, it's time to go ahead and continue the fire series with the phoenix fruit. So you see this bad boy right here? You see this majestic, beautiful fruit? Yeah, um, I'm not actually gonna eat this one this time. But if I do go over here and I scroll all the way down here, I can actually go ahead and equip the phoenix bird fruit because I actually got a permanent of it. And you know, if you guys want some permanent fruits too, go ahead and quickly comment down below and like the video. But as always, with each of our awakening videos we need to go ahead and start getting some mastery on this we only have one move called cannon wait what's that even do oh bro look at our fist we got like blue and red fire okay let me go ahead and fire this at the tree oh all right but i have now arrived to the sea of treats because these are some of the strongest bad boys to get some mastery from and i need as many as i can get okay damage them up with the god human go ahead hit him with the cannon oh and it didn't even kill him okay hey oh wait silly me all my stats are in my sword. Okay, go ahead, refund that. Then max out melee, defense, and block fruit. Yeah, I kind of had my stats maxed into my Rengoku sword, because I made a video about that last episode. So, you know, if you haven't seen that already, go ahead and check that out, too. But, uh, hey, buddy, you're starting to heal up. Nah, give me that mastery, buddy. Boom, it just obliterated him. Look at all that mastery loading in for us. Oh, my God. We're about to get these moves in no time. Okay, 59 mastery. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just round all 
all these dudes up. You know, go ahead, do some god human moves on them. Get them all nice and low. Go ahead, kill all these guys. Oh my god, we just got so much mastery. All right, we now have 105 mastery on our Phoenix fruit, which means we now have regeneration flames and hybrid flight. Okay, wait, we can fly with this? Let me try it out. Hybrid flight. Ooh, okay. You know, this is actually kind of cool. Look at that. We got some nice blue wings. I think we have like little fiery horns too. And we got some little furry feet. Look at them. Look at our cute little furry feet. Okay, and then we have regeneration flames. So, you know, go ahead and hit this dude up again. What does this regeneration flames do? Let me go ahead and hit you up. Okay, we'll just go ahead and kill him. But I don't know what that just did. Okay, let's go ahead and try it again. Regeneration flames. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! We have like a little fire aura around us. I think this actually heals us up. And then boom, we went ahead and unlocked our next ability, which is fast kick. So, you know, go ahead, see what this bad boy does. Oh, we got some flames on our feet. And then go ahead, fast kick. Okay, okay, they're almost dead. And then I can go ahead, finish them off with the cannon again. And then after just a little bit more grinding, I finally got my Phoenix fruit to 250 mastery, which means I now have full transformation unlocked. And I don't know what that does. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go up into the air and then transform. And oh, Oh my god, look at us. We're literally a phoenix. We got the super dope body. We got our super glowy tails. We can literally fly, which kind of makes our hybrid flight ability useless. But, you know, I'm not going to question it. Do our abilities do anything different with this? Okay, no. Oh, wait, we just shot something. Wait. Okay, so in our phoenix mode, we can shoot our cannon now like a little fireball. Okay. And then our regeneration flames is like a big aura around us now. That actually looks so cool. What about fastest kick? Can I still do that as a bird? Can I still kick? Okay, it shoots a beam. Okay, and I love how all these guys literally have V4 Race Awakening. And here I am with my V3. Oh. But anyways, I went ahead and grabbed some of my homies from the Discord, of course. You know, at discord.gg slash xdemon. And now it's time to get this Phoenix Awakening started. All right, on to the first island for the first Awakening. I'm in my big Phoenix form. And I have all these overpowered dudes with V4 Awakening. So this should be easy. I can also just fly around and heal him. Hey, come here, big Buddha boy. Let me heal you. Go ahead, fire down the cannon. Super spawning speed. And then I really just got to fly around and wait for them to do all the work for me. All right, boom. I just easily beat Island 1. Time for the first awakening. Okay, wait, why are there sea beasts during the raid? Why are there sea beasts? Don't kill the seas. They are friendly. I don't know, dude. They're kind of aiming at me. All right, but anyways, as I was saying, on to our first awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course. Okay, so our Z ability was our cannon, but now we have a cremation cannon. Okay, just like how I'm about to cremate you. Okay, but anyways, go ahead, test this out on this dude over here. Oh my god, whoa! I don't even know what I just did, but that looks so cool. Okay, we went ahead and transformed. I actually want to see if this looks different in my Phoenix form as well. So go ahead, charge it up. Okay, and it took me out of my transformation. But oh my god, that fire looks so cool. All right, but now we're on to Island 2. You know, probably my best bet is to just stay in human form and use the default moves with a little bit of god human in between because half my moves are a transformation and traveling and then the other half is two attack ones and one heal. Okay, ooh, dude over here. Hey, buddy. Let me send down my Phoenix balls on you. Phoenix kick. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. I got you. I can send my Phoenix balls. Die. Okay, finish up this dude here. And then boom, we just be island two. All right, and now we can go ahead and get our second awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Of course. Okay, so F ability was our flight, but now we have swift flight. So, you know, I might as well go ahead and check out how they made our flight even cooler. Okay, you know what? It kind it looks exactly the same. I'm not gonna lie. The wings look a little bit cooler too. See, you know what? It's okay. I like it. Okay, wait. I'm dumb. I can literally use my moves with my wings on now. That, that's actually really cool. Whoa. Oh my god, that's so cool. And you know, since I can literally just fly around and attack now, I'm hoping when I awaken my Phoenix transformation, it'll be 10 times cooler. Oh, and I also realized with this flying ability, I can literally just fly into someone and just kill them. Go ahead, hit him with some more of my Phoenix balls. Take that, guys. Enjoy my little fiery balls. 
Okay, but boom, we just beat Island 3 now. All right, but now time to get our third awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course. All right, so our path to X ability was regeneration flames, but now we have blue flames. So, you know, go ahead, charge this up. Oh my God, what is this? Is this like a new healing thing? Oh my God, look how cool this is. Okay, wait, go ahead, transform, and then do blue flames. Oh my god. Guys, look how cool that looks. That's literally so cool. This phoenix fruit is literally so cool. Oh my god. And you know, if you guys agree, you should go ahead and smash that like button. And also, you know, comment down below what I should awaken next. Okay, but now I've literally lost my arm. This video, this is a weird one, all right? Dude, I was literally too enthralled in how amazing this fruit looks that we literally got past the fourth island already. So, you know, go ahead, just pay boss man over here a visit. Hey, buddy, time to die. Don't worry, big Buddha man. I'll give you a nice little heal. Don't even worry. Hey, boss man. What's up, dude? You're not looking too good. I think me and Buddha man are giving you the work. Oh, my God. The Buddha's not letting him escape. No way. Oh, yeah. Boss is already almost dead. No way. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. All right. Boom. We beat the boss. So now we can go ahead and get our fourth awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course. Okay, so our old C ability was fast kick, but now we have flame exodus. Hey, yo. And you know, as always, go ahead and see what this move does. Hold down our C ability. Oh, we got the wings again. Are we about to rush this dude? Let's see if we're about to rush this dude. Hey, buddy, come here. Oh, I completely missed. Okay, you know what? Try it up again from closer range. Hey, buddy! Oh! Oh! What? I just threw him up and then flung him down, bro. What? All right, and now it's time to pay the boss man a visit once again so we can get our hands on the fifth awakening. Mirror boss man! Time to die! Hey, what's wrong, boss man? You can't handle the heat. Pick him up! Slam him down! Oh, okay, and then you know boss man's actually kind of doing a good amount of damage on us. Hey, come on c beast fire at this dude that's what you're here for okay you know casually just gonna heal it up over here oh my god okay and now boss man wants a piece of the demon get out of here buddy come here boss man time to die come here buddy say goodbye and then hopefully boom we just kill them let's go Okay, now we can get our fifth awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your tap ability? Okay, yeah, of course. So, uh, forgot to mention, Phoenix Fruit actually has six awakenings, and, you know, one of them is literally just me clicking. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, hold on. Let me do it on this guy. Tap. Boom. I can literally ram them. All right, but now we're making our way all the way back to the final boss once again for our final awakening. So, you know, start it off with a little bit of a super suck suck them out go ahead hit him with the big blue flames die okay but seriously though this phoenix fruit looks so cool it's literally so cool oh and the boss wants a piece of me don't mind if i get some damage on you boss man oh he's taking damage after damage no way i'm obliterating this boss oh my god oh you want some more of me boss man you just keep coming back bro you don't know when to stop yes he died we can finally get our final awakening all right boom we're here greetings mortal what do you see ascension do you wish to awaken your v ability of course all right and then our v ability was our transformation but now we have blaming plumage so you know go ahead blaming plumage okay oh my god our phoenix form looks so much cooler we've got like little angel things on us now too oh my god okay and does it make our moves cooler too let's go ahead and try our cremation cannon Oh my god! Does our blue flames look cool like this too? Okay, that is amazing! Okay, now and how about our flaming exodus? Oh my god, I actually think our fire does burn damage now too! It does do burn damage! Okay, and then our flaming exodus. Oh my god, it's so cool. And then cremation cannon again. Okay, and then how about our rush attack? Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's so cool. Bro, Awakened Phoenix is literally so cool. No way. But you know, now that we have our Phoenix fully awakened, we can now go ahead and move on to the next fruit. So, you know, make sure to comment down below what you want me to do next. And with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.
The first few fruits that I ever awakened were actually all fire-based. I did fire, magma, phoenix, and then dragon. And then after that, you know, I decided to switch it up with the combination fruit. As you can see, I've got my two magical balls here, my fiery balls, and my icy balls. And you know, since I have this fruit mastered too, and since it's a combination of fire and ice, I think it's time to go ahead and venture into the chili version of fruits. You see this ice fruit right here? You know what I'm about to do with it? Go ahead, eat this ice fruit. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Oh my god, my magical balls just exploded. What the heck? Ooh, with this fruit, I have like a really long ice rod. Dang, look how long my ice rod is. Oh my god. I didn't know I was gonna get an ice rod. Okay, but as always with every fruit that I do an awakening with, or if I'm just unlocking it, I need to go ahead and get me some mastery over here. So I think I can actually just go ahead and just use this as an actual sword. Ooh, it actually makes a sound effect when I hit him. That's cool. And it does a little effect too. Okay, go ahead and finish buddy boy up. Give me that mastery. It's all nice and loaded. And oh my god. Dude, I got so much mastery. It kind of lagged the game. No way. Oh, and I actually did get a lot of mastery. So if I go ahead and re-equip my weapon, I actually have three moves unlocked already. It's cool, right? Get it? Cool. Oh my god, you're so funny. Wow. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, this is not enough mastery regardless, so I just need to go ahead and damage this dude over right here. And then go ahead, use our first move for one mastery, send in the ice spears. Oh, that's actually so cool. I just projectiled my ice around at him, no way. So, you know, go ahead, damage this dude up, and then go ahead, load up this move. Oh, we have like an ice effect on our leg. Go ahead, unleash it. Oh, we just sent ice at this dude. Hey, what's up, buddy? How about a little bit of an ice surge? How you like that? And then we have one more move we unlocked called Ice Burst. And I don't really know what that is, but this dude's looking nice and low right here. So go ahead, load it up. Okay, now we have an ice effect on our fist. Go ahead, unleash it on him. Oh, we froze him. Okay, so we can actually like freeze him with that move and then hit him with our spear. Okay, I like it. I like it. I feel like ice fruit is kind of like a hidden gem for a bunch of cool combos and whatnot, you know? Okay, and then go ahead and kill this last dude right here so we can get mastery for our final move, which is called Galatia Epoch. Okay, that's an actual really unique name. Hey, dude, can I hit you with my glacial epoch boom oh i just froze the ground on him hit him with the ice bird after that ice sponge hit him with the ice spears oh my god this is this is actually pretty easy man i got a pretty powerful ice rod back here look how powerful my rod is guys <laughs> And then after getting just a little bit more mastery on this ice fruit, as you can see, I'm at 213 mastery right now. We are now onto the first island for our first awakening. We got to get this ice fruit nice and OP, even though it's already pretty OP itself. I can literally stun my opponents. I love it. This is like the perfect fruit for playing like purely offense. Like, look at this. I just stomped that dude with my ice. I stomped him like an e-girl. Eh, he, he, he. Oh, this is just sucking me. Hey, you can't suck me. Hey, go ahead, box him up, box him up. Oh, you can't hit me because you're frozen. Well, I can hit you. Bro, I love that so much. And we just beat Island 1. Let's go. All right, and since we just beat our first raid, we can now go ahead and unlock our first move. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course. All right, so our Z move before was Ice Shards, but now we have a Cold Storm. So, you know, as always, I need to figure out what this does exactly so i'm gonna go ahead okay our hand has the little ice effect again go ahead send it down oh we did like a little ice tornado on him bro and it took damage from him too no way all right we're on to island two raid two now and uh i did not realize this but with ice fruit i can literally walk on the water and it looks and sounds so cool like just listen and look at that Okay, but now it's time to put this cold storm move to the test because, oh my god, I honestly think this ice fruit might be a sleeper fruit, guys. Like, you see that giant goose furry right there? Normally, he's not a Buddha. Normally, he is using ice fruit. And I mean, if that fish furry right there can clap me with ice fruit, then it must be overpowered. So, go ahead and hit him with some combos. Oh my god, we literally just obliterated Island 2 too. Bro, ice fruit OP. Okay, time to go ahead and get that second awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability? I don't even think I have an F ability. I, I literally don't, but you know, okay, of course. Okay, so it gave us an F ability. What is it? It's ice skating. Do I ice skate? Oh, I'm literally ice skating. Oh, I can literally just fast travel with this. I actually like this. This is cool. All right, and now we're on to Island 3. And look at this. I can literally fast travel so easily. I'm like my own little boat. This is amazing. Oh, we're at a little town now. Okay. I actually think the dummies here start to get a little bit 
bit stronger. So now I can actually show off a little bit more of that cold storm move I unlocked previously. And I also think my ice rod is getting stronger. Like, dang guys, who knew my rod would be so strong? Ah ha ha. You know, go ahead, hit him with some cold storm. How you like that, buddy? Get out of here. And then hit him with some ice surge. Get out of here, dude. Freeze him up. Hit him with some cold storm. Put ice all over the ground. Dude, I am comboing this dude with this fruit. This fruit is literally so good because of its stuns. Oh my god. I actually think all the moves give a slight stun too. That's actually really cool. All right, kill that dude. Oh, then these dudes over here causing trouble. Get out of here, dude. You're dead. Oop, and we just beat the third island too. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course! Okay, now we have our hands on our new X ability. Now we have a glacial surge. Oh, bro, let me find out. This is about to be even bigger. Okay, let me damage homeboy up. And then let me scoop back again. Hey, buddy, have some glacial surge! Oh, it's so big, bro! Dude, look how big I made those ice spikes. That's OP! You know, I'm starting to look pretty dripped out with these icy powers here. Like, look at me. Sheesh! And also, by the way, I forgot to mention that I'm actually in a private server with fans right now. So if you want to have a chance to help me out with future videos, go ahead and join my Discord server at discord.gg slash xdemon and make sure to like the video. Okay, but now we're on to Island 4. It's time to put this Glacial Surge ability to the test. I just shredded like three of them. Okay, that's OP. Dude, I feel like it would be so easy to bounty hunt with this fruit though. You can literally just stun your opponents and then go ahead and match it up with some god human. Hey, hey, buddy, want some Glacial Surge? <laughs> I glacially searched on you. Get out of here. Goodbye. Box them up. Box them up. And you know, thank God, I've got my big, strong Buddha boys over here helping me out too. Because without them, this would be 10 times harder. Okay, and then boom, we just beat Island 4. Let's go. Okay, time to get our fourth awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course. Okay, so our old C ability was Ice Bird, which, you know, was kind of a personal favorite because that's just like a stun move right off the bat. But now we have a frozen dragon. Okay, that actually sounds pretty intense. So once again, damage homie boy up over here. Hey, dude, hope you don't mind if I hit you with my big long rod, do you? Yeah, he doesn't mind. He likes being hit with my ice rod. He loves my ice rod. And then go ahead, charge up the frozen dragon. Whoa, oh my god, what was that? We just like summoned an ice beam to just grow out of him, bro. Oh my god. All right, and now we're onto the final island for the final awakening. And this thing looks like a whole arena, bro. What is this? Oh my god, why is that dude ascending? Did he get like the super suck or something? What the heck? Can I can I get the super suck? Okay, but anyways, I need to test out this frozen dragon move against these boys over here. These are the strongest of the strongest. Go ahead, hit it with some glacial surge. Hit it with the cold storm. Oh, the boss found in too. Oh my god, boss got flung. Okay, go ahead, hit him with frozen dragon. Oh, it did 3,000 damage. I don't know how I feel about this frozen dragon move. I think I might like the old version better where I can just get an immediate stun on him. And oh my god, the spirit user just obliterated him. He's going ham. But I want a piece of the boss myself. Let me get a piece of the boss. Come on, I want to Taste. I want a taste of the danger. I've already come this far for my awakening boss, buddy. You're not stopping me now. Frozen dragon, glacial surge, send in the cold storm. And boom, we're awakening for the final time. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course. All right, so our old V ability was glacial epoch, but now we have absolute zero. Bro, no way. Let me find out this actually just sets everything to absolute zero. Let me do this that okay i just completely froze bro no way and if i'm correct the last v move actually stunned us when we used it but now i think if i go ahead use it again yeah i can still move around i can go ahead and hit him with more moves too okay yeah this fruit is definitely a sleeper fruit this is pretty op but with that being said make sure to smash that like button and also make sure you subscribe because next video i'm going to be fully mastering the blizzard fruit Oh me, oh my. Time to awaken another fruit. And so far with my fruit awakening journey, I've actually been doing a little bit of side series. First, I went ahead and awakened all of these fiery fruits right here. And then I went ahead and moved on to these icy fruits over here. Okay, and then we're just not gonna talk about the two furry videos, okay? I don't even know where they came from. And then, you know, I did a little bit of a combination with fire and ice, you know? As you can see, I have my fiery ball right here and my icy ball right there. But now it's time to move on to the next series, the electric series. So you see this bad boy right here, this a beautiful blue electric glowing fruit right here. It's time to once again, go ahead, munch it down.
Oh, okay, and my balls uh, explode again. You know, I should really probably get that checked out. But of course, just like every other video where we awaken a fruit, we first need to unlock all these moves and get some nice and juicy mastery. So we got Goofy Boy over here. Go ahead, box him up. Okay, wow, I just, I just fold that dude like it was nothing. He's nice and low for me. And then we do have our one move already for one mastery called Rumble Dragon. So go ahead, load it up. Oh, we got some electricity on our fist right there. And then hit him with the Rumble Dragon. Boom, once again, all that nice and juicy mastery is loading in for us. But already, if we go ahead and refresh this fruit, we now have our next move called Lightning Dash for 30 mastery. So this is a mobility move. Can I Lightning Dash? Okay, I can Lightning Dash. Okay, how far do I even go with this though? Let me just go ahead and then, you know, Lightning Dash. Okay, nice, nice, decent distance. And then I went ahead and did a little bit more farming on these strong boys over here so I can refresh my fruit again and have my next move for 90 mastery called Sky Thunder. Bro, let me find out. I can summon Lightning on this dude. Go ahead, get him nice and low, get into the air loaded up okay now we have electric beams on both our hands sky thunder bro i can send down lightning what i actually like that one that's pretty op okay but now for our next two moves we actually need 160 mastery and then 250 mastery so real quick i'm just gonna go ahead and do some boss fighting so now if i go ahead and refresh my fruit one final time i now have my two final moves called sky beam and thunder bomb so as always i need to find out what these do so first off, send down the sky beam. Oh, bro, I can literally send down a literal sky beam. What was that? Bro, that honestly looks like Goku's Kamehameha. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that's OP. And then we have our other move called Thunder Bomb. So go ahead, load it up. Oh, I'm, I'm praising to the skies. Oh, we got a big ball in the air. Well, you know, go ahead, send down our big balls. Take that, whoa. This is living proof that X Demon has big balls. And uh, you should also do what this person is saying, sub the x furry and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But now that we have our hands on all these super overpowered and really cool moves, it's time to go ahead and awaken them. All right, we're on to Island 1 to Raid 1. And as you can see, I've got my big boys over here with their big long swords to help me out. So go ahead, send down the lightning. Luckily though, this is the first island. So all these dudes are going to be super easy for me to kill with my moves right here. Send down my big balls on them. <laughs> and once again, I did gather all these players here in my private server to help me out. So if you do want to have a chance to help me out in future videos, make sure to like the video and join my Discord at discord.gg slash xdemon. Okay, hey dude, don't touch me with your spiky balls. See, now you just got clapped by that dude's big long sword. That's what happens, okay? I feel like my sky beam and then my thunder balls are just my strongest moves. But boom, there we go. First island already completed. And since we beat the first island in the first raid, we can go ahead and get our first awakening. Greetings, more. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course! Alright, so our old Z ability was Rumble Dragon, but now we have a Lightning Beast. And as always, I need to find out what this move does. Let me go ahead, get some distance, and then Lightning Beast! Bro, it sends a whole Lightning Beast! What? Like, look at that dude! It's a literal Lightning Beast! What? Oh, this dude's just like, <gasps> with his mouth gaping wide. Oh, you gaping your mouth wide for me, buddy? Ah, ha, ha. All right, Island 2, Raid 2 time. And we got like a nice little castle here. But you know, we need to go ahead and put our new moves to the test. Lightning Beast. Bro, these moves are so OP. Oh my God. I can literally just electrify everyone to death. That's so OP. And then do it again. Lightning Beast. Okay, and we literally already beat the second Island 2 already. Okay, now we can get our second awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Uh, you know, maybe a girlfriend or some friends would be nice. But you know, Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Of course! Okay, and now our old F ability was Lightning Dash, but now we have Electric Flash. Lightning Dash, Electric Flash. They're making me bust it down here. I'm busting some hot rhymes. But you know, go ahead. Electric Flash. Okay, wait. Charge two of three. Wait, what was that? Let me go ahead and do it again. Electric Flash. Bro, I don't get it. What does Electric Flash do? That. You do dashes. Okay, yep. Understandable. That, that's okay. All right, it's Island 3 
raid three time. And you know, X Demon's kind of dumb because I just realized I can just quickly dash with my F move now. So you know, still pretty cool. I like it. And you know, these islands are starting to look a lot like the Sky Islands on C1. I don't know, dude. Kind of suspicious. But go ahead, send down the lightning. Die. And then you know, also go ahead, send down my big electric balls. Die. I knew my balls were electrifying, but like, sheesh, this is this is out of hand. Sky thunder, lightning beast, sky beam. Get out of here, dude. My electric balls are too OP. And boom, just like that, we once again easily beat the third island. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course. All right, and now our old X ability was called Sky Thunder, but now we have Thunderstorm. Ah, we went just from being normal thunder to just storming it out. Okay, I like that. So, you know, go ahead, load it up. I now have the electric particles on both hands. Thunderstorm! Oh! All right, but now we're on to our last two raids to get our last two moves awakened. Go ahead, send in that Thunderstorm once again. Bro, it just straight up melted that dude. That's OP. And then go ahead and summon our big ball into the air. Send it down. Thunderstorm him up. That dude just got shredded ease thunderbolts attack and boom just like that we beat the fourth island like it was nothing too but time to get our fourth awakening greetings mortal what do you see ascension do you wish to awaken your sea ability of course and as always i need to figure out what this move does our last sea ability was sky beam but now we have sky judgment hey yo that actually sounds really intense so go ahead load her up oh we got like our hand to raise with the particles now. Oh, I'm calling to you, Sky Gods. Send down your Sky Judgment. Bro! That's so OP. It left a mark on the ground, too. If you didn't sub to X Furry, I will hack you and turn you into a furry with big balls. Hey, what's wrong with being a furry with big balls, huh? Bruh. And now we are finally headed to the final island for our final awakening. So if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button because not only are we about to awaken our strongest move, but if you don't smash that like button, I'm gonna smash your mom. Okay, and we got boss boy spawning in over here. Go ahead, send down the sky judgment and send down our big electric balls. Oh my god, he's just getting straight up murked. Not only is he getting hit by my electrical balls, but he's also getting hit by the big dragon furry balls. Oh my god, yeah, we are literally shredding this boss. No way. Okay, yup, he just died. Easy. And then we just gotta get rid of this last dude right here. And now we're finally ascending for the final time. Which means we can now get our final awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? You know, seriously, maybe a girlfriend or a love interest, maybe. Hopefully, if you can do that. Okay, nope, that's fine. Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course! Okay, and once again, now that we have our final move to awaken, it's time to see what it does. Our last V move was Thunder Bomb, but now we have Thunder Ball Destruction. Oh, let me find out my electric balls to get 10 times bigger. Go ahead, get some air on this dude. Load it up. Oh, we got the super electric particles. Oh, we got super balls! Send down the giant ball! Oh! Bro, that's so OP too. But you know, I think this is a pretty successful awakening. All these moves are super cool looking and super OP. So with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and also make sure to stick around for next video because I'm going to unlock Pole V2 with our freshly awakened Rumble Fruit. The last two episodes, I started my next series of Fruit Awakenings called the Electric Series. As you can see here, I have my Rumble Fruit all the way unlocked and awakened. You know, I got these cool moves here where I can send down my lightning balls. I can also send down lightning from the sky. And then, you know, we also unlocked and awakened our pole here too. As you can see, it's in second form. And I can also shoot out lightning with it. It's super OP. But now it's time to use our electric powers a little bit differently. You see this bad boy right here this is the quake fruit and today i'm gonna be eating this bad boy scarf it down he said try it on me you want me to make you quake buddy i can i can easily make you quake get out of here 
But as always with every Fruit Awakening video, I need to go ahead and get a bunch of mastery to unlock all of these moves right here. And as you just saw, I do have my one move for one mastery called the Quick Punch. And oh my god, someone's just going crazy over there with the blizzard. Jeez. But you know, I want to see what this does, folks. Hit him with it! Okay, I like it. It's like a little electric punch. It kind of breaks reality. You know, go ahead and get this dude just a little bit low now. And hit him with the Quick Punch again! Look at all that juicy, delicious mastery loaded then once again oh we already got 50 mastery i guess you could say our quake powers are pretty op just like how i make your mom's legs quake in irl hey yo what the fuck okay but now we have our next move unlocked called quake wave so go ahead and load that bad boy up our other arm has energy balls now we're the master of energy balls we're the master of all the balls okay Hit him with the Quake Wave! Bro, it literally sent like a whole shockwave of energy. And then finish him off with another Quake Wave! Bro, that's so OP! We can make everyone's legs quake now. <laughs> There's gonna be no one stopping me from the quakening. Everything will be my quakery! Okay, but for these next two moves, I'm gonna need a bunch of mastery. So it's time to go ahead and box up Furry Boy over here. We can not only hit him with our quake moves, but we also have our big long pole to help us out. See, guys, this is the perk of having a long pole. Not only do the ladies like it, but it does a lot of damage. Hand of God! Quake wave! Quake punch! Oh, and Furry Boy died. We have even more mastery loading in. We can actually refresh our fruit once again. And now we have our next move unlocked called the Quake Eruff. Ally, what's wrong? You can't handle the power of my quake? Your legs quaking too hard, buddy. You see this move called Quake Eruff? That's what I made your mom do last night, buddy. I made your mom Quake Eruff. She erupted from my quaking! Okay, but I need to see what this move does, so load it up. Both our hands have magical balls now! Quake erupt! Okay, so we just completely exert a bunch of energy at once. That's pretty OP. But I need to go ahead and box a beautiful pirate over here, too. A lot of you have been commenting that beautiful pirate's actually a dude, but I don't care. I'll make his legs quake, too! Come here, buddy. Time to make you erupt! Okay, boom. We just made beautiful pirate quake so hard she died. Oh, we also got the Canvander sword. Let's go! Comment down below if I should do a video on that bad boy. But now we have 165 mastery. So if I go ahead and refresh our quake fruit, we now have our final move called the dual tsunami. Oh, don't tell me I can make the literal earthquake too. And if you don't get what I'm talking about when I keep saying quake, it's because I'm talking about my giant dick. But go ahead, see what this does. Load it up. Send it down. Oh, we're sending in a wave. We're literally sending in actual waves. Bro, it does so much damage too. What? We legit just did 20,000 damage. It just keeps going. Okay, I think I can successfully say that our quaking is pretty OP. But now it's time to go ahead and awaken this bad boy. Okay, and then this dude just literally abducted me on his sleigh. And wait, why is my hand right there? Why is my hand in this crotch? Whoa! Whoa! Bruh. Okay, but boom, we are now onto the first island for our first raid. You know, go ahead, box these buddy boys up. Get out of here, buddy. Goodbye. You know, I could actually just go ahead and send in the tsunamis right now. They literally just obliterate everybody. Get out of here, dude. Goodbye. Time to drown. And boom, just like that, we already beat the first island. And since we already beat the first island on the first raid, we can go ahead and get our first awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? You know, still still thinking about that girlfriend option if it's if it's possibly on the table still okay yeah that okay yeah that's fine ascension do you wish to awaken your z ability of course and so our old z ability was called quick punch but now we have fatal demolisher hey yo just like how i'm gonna demolish your mom but, you know, go ahead. I need to see what this does before I use it. Load it up. Oh, I'm praising to the gods. Lightning gods once again. Lend me your power. Oh. Oh! Bro, I just broke reality with that. What? Okay, and now we're on to Island 2 of Raid 2. And since we have this a brand new super overpowered move, I think it's time to start putting it to the test. So come here, dude. Let me fatally demolish you. Oh, okay. Or he'll just goop on him with this white sticky stuff. 
And once again, I do have my big Buddha boys here with their big long swords helping me out once again. So if you do want to have a chance to help me out in future videos, just like all these people right here, go ahead and like the video and also join my Discord at discord.gg slash xdemon. Go ahead and hit him with the quake wave. Quake erupt. Fatal demolisher. Okay, and boom, we just beat the second island now. Okay, time to go ahead and get that second awakening. I'm hyped for this one. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course! Okay, and now our past to X move was Quake Wave, but now we have Air Crusher. So go ahead, load up our Air Crusher. Oh, we're like holding it like a Kamehameha. And then go ahead, unleash it! Whoa! Bro, we can shoot giant electric balls too! Okay, Island 3, Red 3 time! Okay, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. This fruit is super OP. I am literally just obliterating everything in every raid. Come here, dude. Let me fatally demolish you like I did your mom! And then don't worry, dude. I'll make your legs quake too. Don't worry. Everyone can have a little bit of the X-Demon quakeage. And then go ahead and break reality again at the thought of me demolishing your mom. Oh my god, this fruit is just too easy to use. I love it. Oh yeah, that was too easy. I literally just drowned every single one of them. We just beat Island 3. Okay, third awakening time. I'm hype. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Uh, you know, still a girlfriend. Hopefully. Okay, come on then. You just can't sit there in silence. Come on. Do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course! Okay, and so our old C ability was Quake Erupt, but now we have Spatial Shockwave. Oh, just like how I shocked your mom with my quaking power! Okay, how many of your mom jokes have I made this video, though? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? You're just- Your mom's so fat, she makes the earth quake. Cause- cause get it? I'd like, quake fruit. Oh, how, 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 how? Man, shut your- Ew, ew. But as always, I need to find out what this does. Go ahead. Spatial shockwave. Bro, I just sent him flying and I made like a little crater. Okay, yeah, that's OP. This move is OP too. Okay, and now we're on to the fourth island for our fourth and final awakening. And I'm not even gonna lie, guys. This fruit is a solid 10 out of 10. All these moves look super cool and they're OP. But this one's my favorite. Fatally demolishing them. Just like I fatally demolished your mother. <laughs> All right, boom, we just beat the fourth island. Okay, I already know this one's about to be OP. It's literally our final move, which is our tsunami. So go ahead. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course. And then our old V move was dual tsunami, but now we have a C quake. Just like how you're gonna see me make you quake. <laughs> But I'm assuming I just go ahead and load it up, slam down on the ground. And then where's my big giant waves? Oh, they're massive. Bro, they're doing so much damage too. What? Okay, yeah, these moves are OP. Okay, and then I didn't need to include this part, but I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and challenge the final boss on the final island with all these brand new moves that I just awakened right here. You know, a perfect little ending to our quake journey and whatnot. There he is. Go ahead and try to make him quake. Okay, we got the big wave spawning in. Go ahead and hit him with all of our brand new awakened quake moves. Melt down the boss man. And oh my god, they're literally just obliterating him. They're showing no mercy. Give him no mercy, men. Go ahead, use some of the staff moves on him. Spatial shock wave. Air crusher. Oh, and here come the giant waves that drown him in the sea. Bye. Hit him with the air crusher. Spatial shock wave. I need to hit him with the fatal demolisher again too. Sending in even more giant waves as well. And boom, we're we're ascending to the heavens! Okay, ooh, mysterious entity. You know, since you won't give me a girlfriend, I'm just gonna have you take me back. But now that we have all of these super overpowered quake moves fully unlocked and awakened, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. So with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and make sure to stick around for next video. So recently, I've been doing my next side series of Awakenings called the Electric Series. And so far, I fully unlocked the Rumble Fruit and the Quake Fruit. And you know, with those also came Pole V2 and the Bicento. But now today, I am now down to my final Electric Fruit to Awaken. You see this magical little star right here? This is called the Light Fruit. And just like the past two fruits that I've awakened that also had the sword that came with them, this fruit is basically a two-in-one. So once again, it's time to go ahead devour this fruit oh and my balls once again have exploded 
But as you can see with this fruit, not only do I have all these abilities over here I can unlock, but I also have a big, long, glowy sword with it. Because, of course, you know X Demon's always packing with the longest blades. <laughs> and fun fact, I actually do have a good amount of mastery on this fruit already. Because uh, I actually tried to go from noob to pro with this fruit, but I realized it was not so good for grinding. But with that being said, it's time to once again go ahead and level up this bad boy and see what all these moves do. Who knows? Maybe my light sword will be just so bright enough even your mom can't withstand it. But we have our first move for one mastery called Light Ray. So go ahead, load it up. Oh, we got like little light particles on us. And then go ahead, unleash it. Okay, so it's like a little charged attack. I like it, I like it. We can literally hit them with light beams. Okay, and then we have our next move for 40 mastery called Barrage of Light. So go ahead, hit him with the Barrage of Light. Bro, I literally just shot him with light bullets. And then we have this third move called Light Flight for 10 mastery. And of course, with every fruit having the F ability, it's gonna be mobility. So what, can we fly with this? Go ahead, and light flight. Oh my god, we could just fast travel, and we're so fast with this too. Okay, so far these moves are pretty good. And it looks like my light pull has the power of darkness. Yeah, that's right, X Demon's got a dark side to him too. It's what your mother likes. We now have another move unlocked for 80 mastery called the Reflection Kick. So go ahead, load it up, aim it at that boy over there. Reflection Kick! Bro, it's like we went on like light stairs to charge it up. What? And then finally, I have our final move for 110 mastery called Sky Beam Barrage. So go ahead, send it on this dude. Send down the light beams from the heavens. And yes, I am counting light fruit as an electric fruit because light equals electricity, okay? I don't care if I'm wrong. And you can clown me all you want down below. I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead. We can actually now go ahead and awaken this to make it even stronger. But real quick before I do that, I just want to roll real quick and see what I can get. Come on, demon needs a new pair of shoes. A new pair of shoes. And I got bird falcon fruit. Okay, but we are now on to the first raid for our first awakening. And I actually went ahead and reset my stats and then maxed out my melee, defense, and block suit. Because this fruit is actually pretty strong if you max your block suit and melee with it. Like, look at this. I can literally just slice dudes up. Take my light rod, buddy! Take it all! The sky beam barrage! Oh, yeah. They're easily just getting obliterated. We just easily beat the first raid of the first island. And then someone just said, Demon, can I have your mother in my bed? What the heck, dude? What the hell? What? But since we already beat the first raid, we can go ahead and get our first awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course! And then our old Z ability was Light Ray. But now we have a Divine Arrow. So as always with every awakening video, I need to test out this move. So go ahead, load up the Divine Arrow. Oh, we have like a little light bow, bro. Send it down. Oh, we can triple shot with it too. All right, and now we're on to the second island for the second awakening. But you know, go ahead. Time to start putting this new Divine Arrow move to the test. Send it at him. Send down the sky beams too. Yeah, that's right. My big... Big long rod is overpowered. But since I am wrapping up the electric series with this final fruit right here, and since a lot of you have been commenting down below that I should awaken dough fruit, if this video can get the 3,000 likes, next video I will awaken the dough fruit, and the next video after that I will fully master and awaken the spiky trident. Oh, okay, and we already just beat the second island like that. Okay, wow. You know, I'm not even gonna ask this dude for a girlfriend this time, though, because he just, he just blankly stares at me. He's, he's evil. He's ruthless. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Yeah, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Of course! Okay, and then our old F ability was our light flight, but now we have shining flight. You know, go ahead. Let's see what it did to our flying ability. Okay, it looks a little bit more defined. And wait, what? We can move with the way we move our mouse. That's actually cool. Oh, and now we're on to Island 3 for our third awakening. And you know, so far, I'm liking these light moves. You know, they're pretty OP. I literally have a light bow with light arrows. Like, come on, that is OP. That is super sick. Oh, and we have Mr. Mega Thick Thighs over here, too. He's gonna crush them with his thick thighs. Oh, and he's gooping on them, too. What the heck? He's gonna be sitting on their faces and crushing them with his dummy thick cheeks. Hey, yo, what the fuck? 
And once again, I did gather all these people in the server right here from my Discord server. So if you do want to have a chance to help me out in future videos, make sure to smash that like button and join my Discord at discord.gg slash xdemon. But go ahead, reflection kick, divine arrow! And then once again, we have easily beat our third island. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? You already know. Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course! Oh my god, bro. Bro is thick! What is going on? <laughs> Look how thick he is. What the heck? Oh, I think he died from being too thick. Okay, yeah, he died. Okay, but our old X ability was Barrage of Light. But now we have a Hand of the Emperor. So go ahead, load it up. Oh, we said like a singular light beam now and it does so much damage. Bro, I just drained so much of his health. No way. Okay, and but now we're on to our second to last island for our second to last awakening. But the only problem now is that the guys start to get really strong on the last two islands. So go ahead, slice them up with our big long light rod. Oh, and Mr. Thick Dummy Cheeks is here too. Oh my god. You can hear his cheeks clap with every movement he makes. Listen to it. Listen to the clappage. Go ahead, slice him up. Hand of the Emperor! You know, this is actually a pretty good fruit. I can not only use it as a melee, but I can also hit them with some pretty sick moves. It kind of gives me god human vibes, not gonna lie. Okay, and then boom, we beat the fourth island. We're ascending! Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Almighty oh, prophets and mysterious serious entity furry thing i see ascension do you wish to awaken your sea ability of course okay and then now our old sea ability was reflection kick but now we have a light speed destroyer so you know go ahead load this bad boy up aim it at little hydra mommy here and attack bro i just straight assaulted her what i literally just grabbed her threw her around and then slammed her down but i mean hey hydra mommy if you're down with me grabbing you and slamming you down just you know let me know hit my line <laughs> and then finally we are on to the final island to beat the final boss and get our final awakening so please once again before we finish this make sure to smash that like button while you're at it okay but this is going to be the most annoying part as always because not only do all the guys spawn in here but they also get glitched out and it's just so annoying you stay right there mr boss man take my light rod take all of my light rod okay well the minions are just getting melted Oh my god. Okay, but that's the annoying part. The boss man just gets like glitched out. Get out of here, buddy. Go back to the water. Get back in here. Send down the sky beams. Hand of the emperor. Melt them down. Feel the power of my golden beam. Go on, Buddha boy. Smack him. Smack him with your big long arms. With your big thick thighs. With the super ultra dummy thick cheeks. And now we are finally ascending for the final time. We can now get our final awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your V ability for 5,000 frags? Of course! And then finally, our old V ability was Sky Beam Barrage, but now we have Wrath of God. So, you know, I'm assuming it's gonna send down a bunch of Sky Beams, so go ahead, put it on Hydra Mommy, and it's sending down so many, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, I gotta do that again, I gotta do that again. Let her feel a little bit of the hand of the Emperor, feel the hand of royalty, and then hit her with the Wrath of God! And you know, all these moves are pretty OP, and they look really cool too. So with that being said, make sure this that like button and hit subscribe and i don't know maybe i'll see you guys next video for the awakening if we hit the like goal that is welcome back to day 10 of going from noob to pro and roblox box fruits if you haven't already make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these episodes but if you didn't know already last episode we continued the beginning of our journey in the second seat we unlocked a new fighting style and then we did a little bit more grinding but then i actually ended up ending that episode with me asking you guys if i should go ahead and unlock superhuman or awaken my buddha fruit and uh well a lot of you commented to awaken buddha fruit so that's what we're doing today but in order to actually awaken my buddha fruit i had to go ahead and gather some of my homie g's over here from my discord server so shout out to these guys for you know helping me and quite literally carrying me through this and you know if you want a chance at helping me out with future videos go ahead and join my discord server at discord.gg slash xdemon all right boys let's go all right so i gotta head on over to the little hot and cold island over here i guess that's what it's called and then we gotta make our way into the little cold half into this little i don't know factory is this a factory and then we go on over to the big computer right here put in the code red click it 
three times blue, two times green, three times blue again. And then that should have opened the secret door, which is right here. And then fun fact, I'm actually way too low of a level to even buy or do raids. So these guys are actually going to be kind enough to buy the raids and host them for me and carry me through it. So a uh, big shout out to these guys. And you know, join my Discord if you want a chance to help me out. But first, I'm going to go ahead real quick, refund my stats, put a thousand into melee, a thousand into defense, 400 into melee, 400 into defense, and then fill out the remaining points because uh, I'm going to need a lot of help to be able to beat this too. Oh, we're in. Oh, big Buddha statues. Okay, transform. Okay, well, they're way bigger than I am. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Island one, let's go. Die. Okay, ooh, they do a lot of damage. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Die. Okay, ooh, my dragon fighting style is actually helping a lot though. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you like that? Get out of here. Hey, little buddy boy, you stuck over here. Dragon breath. Dragon breath. Die. All right, boom. We completed island one, which means we can now go ahead and do our first awakening. Hello, mysterious entity. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability for 500 frags? Of course. Awaken it now. Okay, so our Z ability is our, was our transform, but now it's called shift. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, oh we're huge now. We're big. We're giant. Yeah. I totally didn't spend money on Robux to buy frags. I totally didn't do it. You guys can clown me all you want for being paid to win, but in reality, I'm the one losing here. I'm spending money. All right, Island 2 time. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead, transform into a big fat Buddha man. Yeah. Hey, buddy boy. Time to die. Oh my god. My reach is even more insane now. Oh my gosh. This is really gonna help so much with grinding now. No way. I'm really like nowhere near them and I'm hitting them. No way. That's so broken. That's so OP. All right. Beat up the little Buddha bandit boys. All right. Island 2 completed. That was fast. All right. Now I can go ahead and get that second awakening. Do you wish to awaken your F ability for 2,000? fragments of course give it to me what was our f ability retribution dash what's that do uh shift and then retribution dash oh okay i don't really know what that does but okay all right on to island three time let's go buddha leap oh by the way i'm also waterproof now so that's pretty cool okay hit him up hit him up beat him up and sue the chaos die oh my god it's so chaotic i love it oh it's like a little buddha dummy guy oh retribution dash Oh my god, that's OP, yo! Okay, keep hitting them up, keep hitting them up, dance them up, get the little guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with another retribution dash. Okay, I missed. And then boom, island three completed now. All right, now we can go ahead and unlock our third ability. Do you wish to awaken your X ability for 3,000 fragments? Of course. All right, so our X was our impact grenade. So this one is heavenly impact transform. Heavenly impact. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That sounds pleasing. All right, Island 4 time. Let's go. All right, where's one of the buddy boys at? Hey, buddy, let me try my new move on you. Heavenly Impact. Oh, my God, that killed them. Yo. All right, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Big golden boy over here. Hey, big golden boy. Let me just go ahead and grab you, slam you down. All right, boom, one down, the one remaining. Die. All right, and boom, Island 4 cleared now, which means now we can go ahead and get our fourth awakening. Do you wish to awaken your C ability for 4,000 fragments? Of course, give it to me. And then go ahead and transform. Light of Annihilation, what does this do? Oh, okay, that's so cool. All right, and now onto the fifth and final island. Oh my God, there's actually so many big golden boys. Okay, oh, there's so many. Oh, what is that? What did he just use? That was, that was cool. Hey guys, oh, okay, okay. They do a lot of damage, okay, oh. Good thing I have a buddy boy over there carrying me. Oh my God. Oh, okay, hey. Hey dude, hey dude, you're not like angry or anything, right? Okay, hey, hey, oh, why does it have wings? Why does the Buddha have wings? Okay, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Okay, and it's just the one Buddha left now. Okay, hey. Oh, okay, dodge him up. Okay, now I'm going back in. Die! Die, okay. Oh, you know what? You want it again? Retribution dash, he's dead! We're ascending for the final time, yes! Hello again, the mysterious entity for the fifth and final time. Do you wish to awaken your final ability, V, for 5,000 fragments? Of course! And that, that went from being some uh, Buddha rush thing to Twilight of the Gods, but I don't even have it unlocked yet. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, 
but now that we fully awakened our Buddha fruit, it's gonna be so much easier for us to grind levels and so much easier for us to do a lot of other stuff too. So you know, might as well go ahead, click on that compass, track the next island we're gonna be able to go to since we beat this one in the last episode. But before I actually go that way, I actually wanna real quick roll and see what fruit I can get because I need to be collecting fruits for future raids. So go ahead, give me that random fruit. Bro, I just pulled dough fruit! I just pulled dough fruit! Yo! Yo! Oh my god! Okay, you know what? If you guys want me to give away this dough fruit, go ahead and comment down below. Okay, but now it's time to head on over to our next island. And boom, we have arrived at the Graveyard Island. Hello, Mr. Graveyard Quest Giver. Description, defeat eight zombies. There's zombies in this game for $12,000 and 19 million XP. Confirm! Gonna quickly go ahead and buy myself a nice little one hour double XP boost. Now it's time to transform into Big Buddha mode and beat him up. Die! Oh, these zombies are actually a little bit stronger though. Oh, oh, oh. My reach with this Buddha fruit now though is so insane. Okay, but now my question is, is it even worth mastering my Buddha fruit so I can get that final move unlocked? I feel like I just have to do it just to do it, you know? All right, this one's really low. Let me go ahead. Heavenly impact. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, uh, light of a Annihilation! Ah! Okay, that still didn't do anything. What about Retribution Dash? Will that kill you, little tiny boy? Okay, dude, what the heck? Are you coming back for more, little zombie? Yeah, boom! Okay, yeah, I'm assuming it's just not worth it to unlock the move. Okay. And, oh, I almost forgot, but I need to quickly go ahead and uh, refund all of my stats real quick. All right, boom, there we go. Refund those stats. Go ahead and max out our melee, just like how it was. All right, and then we went ahead and maxed out our defense, too. And now back to the grind. How strong am I now? Oh, my God. God, I'm so strong, yes! Yes! Come here, little zombie wombies. Time to die. And then, boom, kill this little buddy boy. Boom, leveled up again. But, you know, luckily now that we have our Buddha fruit awakened, that means next episode we can unlock our superhuman fighting style finally. And, you know, I think superhuman's gonna be super OP with this awakened Buddha. So, I don't know. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, boom, kill that guy. And then, boom, we are now level 975. A new quest available. Hello, Mr. Graveyard Quest man give me another defeat eight vampires for twelve thousand dollars and almost 21 million xp okay done deal confirm beat him up beat him up feel the power of my buddha light die oh and would you look at that i'm about to have another easy level up let's go we're literally speed running through block streets right now i am literally what episode 10 i'm already one third one fourth through second c no way all right and then one more kill from the vampires again we're now level 990 Oh, 10 more levels to go. And then with the death of one more vampire, we have now finally reached level 1000 on episode 10. And with that being said, I think I'm just gonna call it here because I've been playing for like three hours now and my brain hurts. So make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and comment down below what you want me to do next episode. All right, boys, it is finally time. It is time for us to finally continue the Earth series. And well, if you don't know what I'm talking about and don't know what the Earth series is, basically the last two videos I did on this series was me mastering Gravity Fruit and me mastering the Gravity Cane. And basically with the Gravity Fruit, it was actually pretty overpowered. We had some pretty spicy moves. You know, we could make people bend over. We could send down giant fiery balls from the sky. And then along with that, we had the Gravity Cane, which was also very similar to the gravity fruit and we can also send big fiery balls down from the sky but now it's time to master the earth itself and awaken the sand fruit okay but real quick i haven't rolled yet today so you know i'm gonna go ahead and do that and okay we just got a big steaming pile of <laughs> you know what i know exactly what to do with this hold on give me a second and then go next to the little fruit guy right here and then go ahead and drop it into the ocean okay goodbye see you later oh I got a new title, The Kraken. I mean, hey, if that's what he wants to eat, then that's fine by me, buddy. <laughs> but anyways, now I can just go on ahead into my inventory. Go ahead and grab one of these bad boys. Go ahead and whip it out. And once again, boys, we gotta say goodbye to our fiery balls. Goodbye, my flamey hot balls. Goodbye, my chilly cold balls. It's time to devour the earth. Okay, 
and my balls just exploded again. Nice. Oh, and we already got a nice little icon on our sand fruit down here. What is that, like a dust storm tornado? I like it. I like it. And as always, with every fruit video we do, we need to go ahead and get a bunch of mastery to unlock all of these moves right here. So go ahead and box this dude up. Get him nice and low. Okay, he can't even damage me, actually. This fruit makes me immortal to attacks? No way. Yeah, keep going, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't damage me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right, and then starting off with our first move for one mastery, we have a desert sword. So go ahead and load it up. Oh, we got like a little stance. Oh, we just sliced dude in half. What? Oh, wow. Look at that. You just threw your rod at me. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Ha. <laughs> All right, and now we have a good amount of juicy mastery loaded in. We now have two other moves unlocked called the Desert Funeral and Sand Flight. Bro, no way we can fly with our sand too? Okay, hold on. Let's try this out. Try out our F ability and... Okay, where'd my legs go? Uh... All right, so we got like this little goofy sandy tornado flight thing. Oh, and then we just got Goose Man here. Now he said furry flight. I mean, I, I kind of lost my legs there, dude. I, I think it just immobilizes me. But we do have our other move unlocked for 40 Mastery called Desert Funeral. So once again, load it up. Okay, why are we doing like the little Kung Fu stance? Go ahead and let him have it. Oh, we put him into our sand balls. What? Bro, we literally put him into a sand ball. Hold up. Okay, let me go ahead and get doing nice and low again. Hey, buddy, let me suffocate you with my sandy balls. Hey, don't worry. Let me suffocate you with my balls. Yeah. Oh, what, dude? Was that, was that not enough for you? You want some more of my sandy balls? Go ahead. Have some more. Don't be shy. <laughs> we killed him with our balls, boys. And once again, we do have a new skill available already, which is our sand tornado move. Wait, is this going to be like the blizzard F move now? Go ahead and load it up. Okay, do I just send it at him? Okay, I put him into a sand tornado. All right. Decent amount of damage with that again, too. And then go ahead and suffocate him into our balls again. Slice and dice him with the desert sword. And then go ahead and finish him off with the sand tornado once more. Easy. We just shredded him. And then our final move, which we haven't unlocked yet, is going to require just a little bit more mastery. So I'm going to go ahead. All right, boom. We now have 121 mastery, which means we have a new skill available, which is actually our final move called the heavy sand so go ahead let him have our final move oh my god we have electricity on our hand but go ahead hit him with the heavy sand move oh my god we just sent our sandy balls flying at him that was small okay hey buddy not everyone has big balls here okay shut up shut up you're a goose you don't even have balls shut up like your pee okay no i hate you you're no longer my friend i'm, I'm unfriending you goodbye i hate you but you know all of these sandy moves are actually pretty decent you know i like them i like like them like they all look pretty nice and vibey and whatnot pretty overpowered but i want to go ahead and make them stronger so it's time to go ahead and awaken them so boom we are now on the first island of the first raid but bring it on buddy i actually went ahead and got just a little bit more mastery on my sand fruit so all of my attacks can do just a little bit more damage okay and we literally have a sea beast helping us out too Ooh, look at that cutie Senpai. Oh my god, all of my moves do so much damage now, too. Let's go. We already beat the first island. And since we beat the first island of the first raid, we can now go ahead and get our first awakening. Hello again, Mr. Mysterious Entity. I know you missed me. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, you don't have to blush at me like that or anything. I know I'm attractive and whatnot, but sheesh. But, you know, go ahead. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course. And now our old Z ability was our desert sword move. But now we have a desert blade. Okay, so basically the same thing, just a name change. All right. But go ahead, you know, load it up. Okay, now not only do we raise our arm with the move, but now our leg. And then go ahead and let him have it. Oh my god. That did 4,000 damage, bro. What? But go ahead, let's take a look at it again. Desert blade. Oh my god. That definitely looks 10 times better than the original. I like it. And oh my god, look at that size on this guy. Hubba bubba, missed the thick cheeks and everything. Hubba bubba, let me get a taste. Daddy, chill. 
We gotta protect the citizens of the villa. Use our new desert blade. Oh my god, he's just going crazy with those thick cheeks. Okay. The whole earth is quivering. The whole earth is shaking by the quiver of his clap, if you know what I'm saying. All right, boom. We easily beat the second island now, too. And once again, since we now beat the second island of the second raid, we can now get our second awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Of course! Okay. Okay, and then our old F ability was our sand flight move, but now we have a tornado flight. Demon, can you buy permanent venom? You know what, buddy? Only if you come over here. Come on, come on. Totally not a trap. Come on. And then go ahead, try out the tornado flight. Okay, it doesn't do any more damage, but it looks better than the original flight. Look at that. We all, we all speedy. We're like the little Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Okay, and now what is Mr. Thick Cheeks doing to me now? Whoa! Whoa, I'm supposed to be doing that to you! Whoa! Hey, yo, what the f***? But now we are on to Island 3, Raid 3! And you know, the sand flight looks a lot faster outside of raids than it does inside raids. This is just disappointing. But well, come on, buddy, bring it on! Have a taste of my balls! And I also just realized that you can do multiple damage to multiple people with a little sand tornado. So I like that even more now. Oh, and then a bunch of people over here. Put them into the tornado. Oh, look, you're drowning. Oh, let me go ahead and put you in my balls too. Oh. And then once again, easily beat the third island. All right, awakening three time. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course. And then our old X ability was our sand funeral move where we could put people into our little sandy balls and suffocate them with our balls. But now we have a sand coffin. So once again, time to find out what this does. Go ahead, load up the sand coffin. Oh, I'm praising to the gods. Let them have it. Oh, we have even bigger balls now. But it looks like it did the same amount of damage. Let me get you nice and low. And go ahead, suffocate you with my bigger sand balls now. Okay, you know, it's decent. It's decent. I like it. All right, and now we're on to the second to last island for our second to last awakening, which is our fourth. Oh, and what is this? Like the little uh, villa town center now? Okay, I like it. What do you think you're doing? You want to have some of my balls? How dare you? How dare you? Okay, wow, I just killed him with my balls. Nice. And then go ahead, put him in the tornado, mix in some god human. But you know, so far, these sand awaken moves are actually a lot stronger than the normal ones, and they look a lot nicer too. And like, look at this. I can have multiple sandy balls balls now. This is literally amazing. I'm loving it. And you know, a lot of you guys have been commenting down below for me to do a Sand Awakening, so here it is, okay? I hope you're happy. You all better like the video right now. Oh, wait, is this the last one? Okay, well, let me just, uh, do that. Okay, beat the fourth island now. All right, easy peasy. Give me that fourth awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your sea ability? Of course! And then our old sea ability was our little sand tornado move, but now we have a sand storm. Oh! Is this about to be like the other blizzard move? Like how it was like a giant snowstorm? Go ahead, load it up. Oh, I have like a mini tornado in my hand. Look at that! Listen to it. Listen to it twirling around. But go ahead, let them have it. Oh, it's a giant tornado. Bro, that looks so cool. And it did so much damage. But I want to take a look at that move again. Go ahead, hit him with the sandstorm. That looks so cool. Bro, this sand fruit just keeps getting cooler and cooler by the awakening. All right, and now finally, we are on to the fifth and final island for our fifth and final awakening. We're getting so close to finally being done, boys. Smash the like button. All right, go ahead. We got literally all the boys here. Even Mr. Thick Cheeks over there is back. Hit him with the sandstorm. Oh my god, I got like five of them all at once. Oh my god. Oh, and Mr. Boss Man spawned in. I gotta suffocate him with my balls. Oh, you are mine, Mr. Boss Man. You are mine. Come on, guys. Give the boss all you've got. We can do this. Dude, I really can't even see anything because Mr. Thick Cheeks over there is just taking up all the map. Suffocate him into our balls. Desert Blade. Oh yeah, Mr. Boss Dude over there is not looking too hot. He's looking all nice and low. Slice and dice him up. Suffocate him with the balls. Yes, we did it. We're ascending boys for the final time. La Eglise de Profiti. 
Hi, mysterious entity. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course! All right, but our old V ability was called the heavy sand, but now we have a deep sand. Okay, you know, all of these name changes aren't really that unique on this fruit. I'm gonna be honest. But go ahead, time to check out this move. Load it up. Oh, now our sandy balls are even more electrified. Let them have it. Oh my God! Bro, that did like 6,000 damage. Bro just got the ultimate clap of his life. But hold on, I gotta see that move again. Hold on. Load it up. It looks all nice and powerful. Let them have it. Oh my god. It literally shredded, bro. Okay, I think that might be my new favorite move. Oh my god. And well now, boys, I think we can officially say that we have fully mastered and fully awakened the sand fruit. And oh my god, we got our hands on all these overpowered moves. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this. No, like for real, look at this. Oh my god. And now at this point, I think I have now fully mastered and awakened almost every fruit in the game. I might have missed a few here and there. So comment down below if there's any other fruits you want me to do a video on. But with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. For the past few weeks, I've been awakening fruit after fruit after fruit. And I've been doing awakening after awakening after awakening. And, uh, well, now we're starting to get very close to the end of these normal videos. So if you're excited for me to start doing more unique and more dramatic videos, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. But today, you see this bad boy right here? This is the dark fruit. Yeah, that's right. We're starting the shadow series now. So now it's time to go ahead. Go on over here and scarf down this dark fruit. And ooh, our ooh, and our, our dark fruit icon down here looks like a doors entity jump scare. Man, wouldn't that be funny if there was doors inside of blocks? Fruit? Okay, but it looks like the moves on this fruit actually don't require that much mastery to unlock. So, you know, might as well go ahead on over here and beat a furry boy right there. You know, because I gotta show him who's top dog around here. I gotta show him who's the top furry. And luckily, I do have one move unlocked for one mastery called the Dark Rocks. So, come here, buddy. Have a piece of my Dark Rocks. Okay, oh, that actually just sent, like, Dark Beams at him. And then go ahead and box him up with that God Human. Oh, he's fighting back. Get over here. Okay, come on, dude. Have some of my black balls. You know you like my big black balls. Okay, oh! He, ho, ho. Okay, he didn't like the joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, but boom, there we go. We beat Furry Boy. Look at all of this juicy mastery loading in. And, of course, I had Gooseman over there to help me out. You know, our little fish furry buddy. <laughs> Okay, but now we have 128 mastery on this bad boy. So if we go ahead and refresh it, we now have all of these moves unlocked. And you know, once again, I don't really know this fruit. So I gotta find out what these moves do. We already have our first move where we can shoot our little black balls at them. You know, it's pretty decent. But then we have our next move for 40 mastery called the black spiral. So let me go ahead and load it up. Oh, I'm sucking him in. Suck him with the black spiral. Oh, I launched him. Ah, so I can suck people with this fruit. Ooh, I like like that. Bruh. Okay, and then we have our next move for 80 mastery called the black hole. Okay, I'm about to hit this dude with a super suck. Load it up. Send it at him. Send him into our black hole. Oh, wait, I completely missed. Okay. Okay, come here, buddy. Come on. Let me suck you into my black hole. You know you want to be inside of my black hole. Okay, that did 4,000 damage. That's actually pretty decent, too. Okay, and now there's pirates raiding the castle on the sea. But we have our final move for 110 mastery called the dark bomb. So go ahead and load up our big black balls. And send it at him! Dark Bomb! Okay, that just created a crater too. No way! Oh my god, these moves are actually pretty decent. I like them. I like them. Go ahead and hit him with the Dark Bomb again. Take that! Have a piece of my Black Balls! Super suck! And then blast him away! Alright, boom. We defeated the pirates raiding the castle. And you know, all these moves are pretty decent. But I think it's time to go ahead and awaken them. All right, so boom, we're onto the first island of the first raid. And this looks like the area you spawned Blackbeard at. Wait, hold up. Well, I mean, this is Blackbeard's power, though, so that does make sense. Come here, buddy! Black balls! 
And you know, hopefully all of our dark moves will be super overpowered and make us super unstoppable once we awaken them all. But first, we gotta defeat all these strong guys over here. All right, and then boom, we already beat the first island. Okay, we've ascended. And since we beat the first island of the first raid, we can get our first awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your Z ability? Of course! Okay, so our old Z ability was our little black balls that we would throw at people. But now we have dimensional slash. Oh, does that mean we can't throw our, our black balls at people anymore? You know, go ahead, load it up so I can know what it does. Oh, I have like a little shadow sword. What? I get a sword with this fruit. Go ahead. Let him have the slash. What? Bro, I just broke reality with that. What? You know, go ahead. Slash him again. Oh my god. Okay, that is overpowered. That reminds me of like legendary Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball. Okay, but now that we have our first move awakened, we can now move on to the second island on the second raid. You know, go ahead. Let him have a taste of this dimensional slash. And then easily finish him off with some god human op bro we have a literal dark sword with this fruit now that's actually so op and it's literally obliterating everything in its path too and fun fact about this fruit even though we only have four moves right now there are actually five awakenings that we're gonna be doing Box them up. give them everything you got boys suck them in and then boom we already beat the second island like that too man i suck these guys harder than your mom sucks me Okay, but now we can go ahead and get our second awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability? Wait, we don't even have an F ability. This is our extra move. Of course. Okay, and then our new F ability is called a ghastly step. Wait, hold on. Can I like instant transmission with this? I can instant transmission with it. Dude, I'm like Goku instant transmissioning. Oh my God, that's so overpowered. Like, dude, look at this. I literally flash step. Like, I can flash. Oh my God, that's overpowered. Have a taste of my hairballs oh he's whipping up the jojo punches what we got jojo punches on our side okay oh and now he's getting his white goop everywhere okay ugh. all right but boom we are now on to the third island for our third awakening but you know go ahead box him up with the dimensional slash and then i also noticed this if i go ahead and use my black spiral move i can actually keep holding it and then it's perfected and it just launches them like get out of here dude time to die say goodbye boom killed him and then boom killed him oh and now he's pulling up the jojo punches once again dimensional slash get out of here dude suck him into the black hole too i need that awakening bro you're getting in my way i'm about to show you the power of the suck your mom shows me okay oh wait he sucked me okay who oh, calm down buddy take me to dinner first all right, boom. We easily beat the third island too. Okay, but we ascended and we can finally now get our hands on our third awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? I see a taste of those uh, mighty thick cheeks you got. Ah ha ha. But you know, go ahead. Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your X ability? Of course. All right, and then our old X move was our little ability to suck them into our mini black hole. But now we have Abyssal Darkness. So do we still get to suck people with this move though? Cause you know, I mean like, I, I don't mind sucking people, you know? Ah ha ha. But go ahead, load it up. Oh, what is this? I'm sucking them into me. Bro, what? What was that? All right, and now we're on to the fourth island for our fourth and second to last awakening. Okay, and why are there just two giant glowing green balls on this island now? Why is there so many balls in this episode? Oh, and now we have Jojo punches going on over there. And we also have Big Buddha Boy over here too. Because of course, you know, our team is always super overpowered. And if you ever want to have a chance to be on my team and help me out in future videos, Videos, go ahead and join my discord that's linked down below but you know go ahead suck this dude into my black tendrils come here buddy into my black hole suck him into the tendrils as well again okay yeah this this fruit's just overall sus i'm not even gonna lie this is this is sus guys but slice him up touch him with the tendrils they love the tendrils all right and then boom we beat the fourth island okay fourth awakening time what am i gonna get greetings mortal what do you see ascension do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course! Okay, and then our old C ability was our black hole move, but now we have endless hole. Okay, this is, this just, this just sounds sus by itself. Oh no. Go ahead, load it up. Hit him with the endless hole! Bro, I'm sucking the life out of him. Dude, I suck the life out of him harder than your mom sucked the life out of me. Man, shut your Ew. Yeah, come here, buddy. You love my endless hole. You love the endless holes. Ah! 
that. Wait, oh no, which side do I pick? This is the final awakening too. Oh no. Three on this side and three on this side. Oh no, they both have the chip. Oh no. Ah -ha! And now finally we are onto the final island for our final awakening. All right, where's boss man at? I'm ready for him. I'm ready for him. I'm gonna suck the soul out of him. Three, two, one, fight. Oh, where is he? I don't, oh, he's up there. He's up there. Hit him with my big black ball real quick. And then endless hold him up. Give me your life force, buddy. I want it all. I want all of your life force. But not even gonna lie, guys, this dark fruit is actually pretty OP. We have literally been just cruising through these raids like it's nothing. It's so OP. Okay, oh, we knocked them down. We knocked them down. Get him into the endless hole again while Buddha Boy smacks him up. You know, he's smacking him harder than I smacked your mother. Oh my god, I'm really just draining his life force. Oh my god, this is so overpowered. And then hit him with my big black balls again while I suck him into the endless hole at the same time. Oh yeah, boss dude is almost dead. He's, he's almost done for. Just go ahead, suck him in. Slice him up too. Okay, boom, just slice the boss man to death. Okay, oh, we're ascending! We're ascending to the heavens! Okay, we can finally get our final awakening. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your V ability? Of course! Okay, and then our old V ability was our dark bomb move, but now we have a world of darkness. Oh my god, am I about to have a Naruto moment like pain and just show the world pain? The world shall know pain! Wait, you know, go ahead, load it up! Oh, we have giant black balls now! And then go ahead, send it at him! No, my pain oh my god that left the giant crater too oh my god that's overpowered you know i'm gonna go ahead and just do it one more time load up our world of darkness look at our big black pulsing ball and then send it down on him take that buddy okay yeah dark fruit is now one of my personal favorites so with that being said make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video so last week, I went ahead and awakened this fruit down here called the Doe Fruit. And I also fully awakened this spear right here called the Spiky Trident. And because I did that, now a bunch of you want me to go ahead and awaken the String Fruit. Like if I go ahead and search for String Fruit right here, we have a Do String Fruit, Smiley Face, Awaken String Fruit, Next String, Skull Face, Creepy Moon, Loving Heart, Awaken String, It's Cool. And then this is just asking, is String better than Light? I don't know, guys. Is String better? than light comment down below and let me know but you see this a beautiful fruit that i am pulling out right here look at it i whipped it out just for you guys look at all my white little tendrils moving around Ooh. so today it's time to go ahead and devour this bad boy block suit string activated and ooh, our icon is literally like a little ball of string and oh my god these moves are actually gonna need a good amount of mastery too so you know i think it's time to go ahead and start getting a bunch of mastery for this bad boy and i love how our first move is called rainbow string for one mastery when literally last video i did i locked the rainbow hockey as you can see right here you know let me just go ahead and get this dude nice and low and then go ahead and hit him with the rainbow string boom we got some mastery loaded in for us but now if i go ahead and refresh our string fruit we now have two moves unlocked called the multi-string attack and string path and i'm pretty sure our string path is our mobility move so i'm just gonna go ahead okay yeah we're just like we're, we're spider man it up i guess and then of course we have our other move called the multi-string attack so go ahead let him have it okay that just easily demolished him too so it looks like this move is just another thrash attack you know it sent some strings going down and then you know these other two moves we have for 100 mastery and 225 mastery are going to need a bunch of kills so it's time to start some boss hunting so now boom when i refresh my string fruit i now have those two moves unlocked i've got the first one for 100 mastery called overheated sniper you know go ahead and show you guys what this does overheated sniper so it's kind of like an explosive string move i like it and then we have our final move unlock called ultimate thread for 225 mastery so go ahead load it up i have my hands on praise into the skies e-girl gods bless me with your power send it down on them all oh! bro what was that what? Okay, so we send out like little tendrils to grab them with. Okay. Because we love grabbing things with our tendrils. <laughs>
But now we have all of these super cool moves unlocked. And you know, they're pretty decent. But I want to go ahead and make them stronger and awaken them. So we're on to the first island of the first raid for our first awakening. You know, so far I like these moves. But you know, they're kind of mid-tier for my taste to be honest, you know. And they're not really that sus, you know. I kind of need stuff to be sus. But you know, go ahead and hit him with my ultimate thread. Oh my god, we just obliterated him. And then go ahead and scratch this dude too. Because of course, you know, X demon scratches not only do i smash but i scratch too <laughs> Bruh. slice him up with the rainbow string with our rainbow hockey and dang we already beat the first island like it was nothing and boom since we beat the first island on the first raid we can go ahead and now get our first awakening greetings mortal what do you see ascension do you wish to awaken your z ability of course and then, of course, you know, I gotta see what this new move does. Our old Z move was Rainbow String, but now we have a Thermo Laceration. Is it lacerations when you, like, hit something really hard and it leaves a mark? Oh, oh no, that's what I did to your mom. But, you know, go ahead, load this move up. Oh, my God. Do we just have fire string moves? What? I think I definitely prefer this fiery form over the rainbow form. Okay, and now we're on to the second island of the second raid. Okay, ooh, and I almost drowned. Ooh, I can't swim. And, oh, my God, Big Buddha Boy is just erupting. Chill. Bro, keep it in. I know you're excited, but chill. And now it's time to put this new move to the test. Okay, oh, okay, never mind. I made him angry. He's touching me with the spiky balls. Okay. Normal restoration! I just melted, bro! You know, I was kind of iffy on these beginning moves, but now that I'm starting to awaken them, they're starting to look a lot better. Normal restoration! Die! And then, you know, I can easily just quickly box up the rest of the guys with my god human. You know, I'm just slapping them as hard as I slap your mother. Boom, we beat the second island. And since we beat island two, raid two, we can now get awakening to. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken? in your f ability of course and then our old f ability was our string path move which made us just look like spider-man but something stuck up our butt but now we have a god's highway so you know go ahead am i super spider-man now okay oh okay now i just have like white little string tendrils just mildly going about but hey i can fly now i can fly Okay, and now we're on to Island 3 of Raid 3. Dude, I literally look so goofy flying like this. And why is there a giant crater on this island? Whose mother was here? Yo, mama's so fat, she put a crater on the third island of the string raid. Yo, mama's so fat, string users couldn't even keep her tied up. Man, shut your free. But you know, of course, go ahead. Thermal Resurrection Ultimate Thread! I'm gonna touch all of them with my purple tendrils. Okay, ooh, and that thing's just Jojo punching him. Oh my god. Jojo punches go hard. Jeez. Okay, and now he's just swinging around and slamming them down just like I slammed your mom last night. Oh my god. Bruh. And oh my god, we literally just obliterated the island. We just completed that one already too. Awakening three time. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? What do I seek? What do I seek? I seek your hand in marriage. Okay, wow. First, I asked this dude for a girlfriend, and now he won't even marry me? Wow. Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your ex ability? Of course! Okay, and now it's time to see what this bad boy does. Our old ex ability was multi-string attack, but now we have a silk prison. Ooh, silk is one of the finer of the materials, you know? It's pretty good. So go ahead, load it up. Silk prison! Oh my god, I literally put him in a silk prison! Yeah, I definitely like this new form of the move too way better oh my god he has three huge swords what kind of jeans are you born with bro i'm freaking jealous dang i wish my sword was as big as that <laughs> okay and now we're on to the fourth island for our fourth and second to last awakening and oh my god now we have sea beast helping us out look on the girth of that thing oh my god Senpai. And then, you know, go ahead, touch him with my purple tendrils. Put him in the prison. Slice him up. You know, I'm really liking this string fruit. I'm really liking it. Overheated sniper. Thermal laceration. Silk prison. Boom, 
we beat the fourth island now. Okay, fourth awakening time. I'm really excited to see what it turns our next move into. Greetings, mortal. What do you see? Ascension! Do you wish to awaken your C ability? Of course! Okay, I gotta see what this does. Our old C move was overheated sniper, but now we have eternal white. Ooh, eternal white. Just like that eternal white stuff, you know, that I was gooping everywhere in my dough video. Ah <laughs> Okay, but go ahead. Hit him with our eternal white. What the heck? Bro, why am I sending big white worms after him? That looks so wrong. And now finally, we're on to our final island for our final awakening. Oh, why is that island so small though? Dang, I just keep getting reminded of my sword size, huh? Hit him with my white worms! Oh my god, that actually does so much damage! Oh, I gotta box boss boy up easily! Get out of here, buddy! Get the boss man! Give him everything you've got, boys! And then hit him with the white worms again! Put him into the silk prison, slice him up! Okay, wow, we literally just obliterated all his henchmen like it was nothing, though. Oh my god, this is easy. Put him in the silk prison again! Hit him with our white worms one more time, too! Yeah, you heard me. This boss is leaving pregnant bro he's about to have an ex baby and all oh, we're ascending for the final time i am now back to the realm of the gods greetings mortal what do you see ascension do you wish to awaken your v ability of course okay i'm excited to see this one this was our purple tendrils move so our old v move was ultimate thread but now we have a heavenly punishment because of course you know our white worms are heavenly and they punish ah We'll go ahead and hit this dude up with it. Heavenly punishment! Oh my god! Okay, and then that dude just hit me with his TTK. Okay. But you know, go ahead and hit him with it again. Heavenly punishment! Bro, that's so OP. We almost did 10,000 damage with that. And you know, I think it's pretty safe to say that Awakening String Fruit is pretty OP. So with that being said, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.